our subject matter experts, we have an SME network, SME standing for subject matter experts. And this is uh, an initiative of our performance work where we've actually found some practitioners, experts in industry, and we've invited them to become subject matter experts affiliated with the ABCB. And that affiliation means a number of things. It means that they are available to answer questions. So you can log an inquiry across our website and actually speak to a subject matter expert. We have some to do with fire safety. We've got subject matter experts who are fire engineers. We've got subject matter experts who are access consultants. We have SMEs in energy efficiency and some who spread across various disciplines and are there to help you with those performance solutions which are a little bit more generic, such as ceiling heights and things like that. So do look out for our SME network and do look for opportunities to become educated by them. And that education does come in the form of them going around and doing presentations. Um, they do that anyway. Uh, sometimes they might be presenting with an ABCB affiliation. Sometimes they're out there anyway on the conference circuit. I think one of our SMEs is in America oh, recently or soon. So have a look for our SME network. Uh, they, are, they are there to assist you in using performance solutions. The, I'll put the slide on later, but I can't get to it now because it's about 30 slides that way, and that was the NCC 2019 resources. Because, like I said before, we haven't covered everything. There's a lot of stuff that we haven't been able to put into today's seminar. To help you with that is the list of amendments, but also to help you with that is the energy efficiency seminars, which are coming out with the Property Council later this year. There's also the Fire Protection Association Australia seminars, the FPAA seminars to suit their new FPAA documents for sprinkler systems in buildings less than 25 metres effective height, yet for rising stories of four or more. I mentioned that we're doing a tailored education program for the fire safety verification method, so do look out for that one. And of course, a lot of content for next year comes into effect next, oh sorry, a lot of content in NCC 2019 comes into effect in 2020. So that's our energy efficiency provisions and the FSV and the fire safety verification methods. So look out for this seminar series next year. It's very likely that a lot of that content will feature in this series. And publications, we've got all our handbooks, um, brand new handbooks for brand new verification methods, existing handbooks which have been updated, even advisory notes which are sitting out there and available for our use for download from our website are being updated to reflect the new content in NCC 2019. So if you have a question about something, you might even find a handbook or an advisory note which covers the material that we're putting up for NCC 2019. Plenty of resources. The, um, it, practically the entire office has been beavering away on these resources lately. Uh, I mentioned also Wood Solutions, woodsolutions.com.au. So if you find yourself doing a timber <coughs> mid-rise building for a building other than class two, three, other than class two, class three, or class five, because now in CC 2019, they go to all classifications, have a look at the Wood Solutions website. You'll find a handbook there to help you use the, new use the provisions in these new ways. And of course, that list of amendments, I really can't underline that enough because there are a lot of changes that we haven't covered and the list of amendments which are on your chair and also available at the website, the seminar website, is a very important document to alert you to what the changes for NCC 2019 are. And NCC 2019, most of it, 1st of May this year will be the current code. But of course, as we mentioned earlier, if we're talking about adoption of NCC 2019, we can't do that without mentioning the transition period for energy efficiency. That ends on the 30th of April 2020. After that date, you must use NCC 2019. Until then, you can use NCC 2016. But of course, because the changes are so extensive, you can't mix and match between the two. And of course, the fire safety verification method not a part of the NCC until the 1st of May next year. But for everything else, 1st of May this year, you'll be using NCC 2019 as the current code.